previously on Freedmont. The place smells like a sewer, and who knows how long it's going to take to get this smoke out of here. Joel okay. Lincoln was at the top of the list, Joel. of course. Joel, the kind of good-looking guy? like to get into some trouble with him. You are so bad. Oh, we'll find the person responsible, all right. And when we do, they will be dealt with harshly. Oh, yeah, he was ticked. I'd hate to be that kid when he gets a hold of him. I'm thinking expulsion is what I'm thinking. Young man, you need to come with me. It's an interesting reading, isn't it, Miss Stanford? It's my life. Tell the narrative for me. You managed to have the highest GPA in both schools, scored a 35 on the ACT as a freshman. I do well in high pressure situations. Mm. It's such BS. How stupid thing to get a fair shake here. We know you didn't do it. Now, we saw who did it on the videotape. I'm going to be keeping a special eye on you while you're here. Our biggest potential problem now knows where he stands, and that's going to serve to keep a lot of those other students in line. What I'm going to do next is going to take care of the rest of them. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mr. Harper, and I'll be guiding you through the magical world of English this year. The good, the bad, the ugly, and grammar. And these are a few things that we're looking for this year. Now, we're not ready for the question and answer session just yet, but I do want to promise you that your query is important and you'll get to it as it is asked. What I'd like to do is uh, start with a getting to know you activity. Oh, I know, I know. It's a sort of a cheesy move, but all I'm going to ask you to do is to write your name on this index card. And then I want you to write three things you like, three things you don't like. And on the back, I'd like for you to write three goals you'd like to accomplish before the uh, holiday break. Can I borrow a pencil? Really? The first day at school, at a top-notch institution like this, nonetheless, and you will get your face. Without science, we wouldn't have modern society. While I'm aware that there may be some of you who think that science is all about the periodic table or dissecting animals, I can assure you there is much more to it. But will we get to dissect animals in here? <laughs> yes. Eventually, during the biology section of the course. Awesome. What will we get dissect? Really? What? The typical reaction to science classes. I like science because we get to cut stuff up. I'm not dumb. I just enjoy learning about how the biology of animals work. Yes, it is fascinating. And what triggered this interest in animals? Does it help you when you're hunting defenseless animals? Actually, I don't hunt. My father's actually a veterinarian. And one day I hope to take over the family business. All right, so who would say that math is their favorite subject? 
Okay, I can't say I'm surprised. Um, so, let's start with why you don't like math. Yeah, um, Allison Weaver, right? Allie, actually. Oh, okay, Allie. It's an historical uh, uh, Sorry, I was in Mr. Crane's office. Can I get lost in the way here? Yeah, well, don't make a habit of being late to my class, Mr. Lincoln. Joe Lincoln. Allison was telling us why she struggled with math. I wouldn't say I struggle with it, I just don't like it. There's all these random numbers and signs that just don't seem to go together at all. It just doesn't seem to make sense sometimes. It makes perfect sense. Uh, would you elaborate on that? Yeah, well... You're right. Math is like a bunch of random numbers thrown together. But that's what makes math simple. With the right formula, all you gotta do is plug in the right numbers and you always get the right answer. That may be true, but you have to actually know the formulas first. I do. So what is it they say about history? That we are doomed to repeat it. That is very true. But I was thinking a little more literal. Anyone else? It's boring. True. History can be boring. Federer said... The tennis player? No, I'm afraid he's probably a little too busy winning tournaments to concern himself with the role of history in education. Even tennis players need a hobby. Maybe his is history. Back to my point. William J. Federer said history is boring until it comes into focus. Unless you see it from the right perspective. Surely that can't be somebody calling to complain about my teaching. So I haven't taught you anything yet. Mr. Franklin's room. Uh, yes, absolutely. No problem. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Everyone, I want you to think about who is the most important American in history. Everyone except Ryan Kelly. Ms. Stanford has requested the pleasure of your company in the front office. You better move, son. You never want to keep a woman in a position of authority waiting. So, who is our most important American in history? He's on his way. Good. Are you sure this is the best way to handle this situation? It's the only way to handle it. I'm not saying I disagree with you. It's a bold move. If we let an incident like this go by and we don't correct it, we'll never get control of this school. Control? Disciplinary control. If the students here don't fear the repercussions for their actions, the whole place will run amok. Rule with an iron fist. <laughs> exactly. You know the administration isn't going to support you on this. I know that. I've already just talked with them. How bad was it? About as well as you'd be expected, I guess, knowing that their, his father was a large donor to this school. You had to know they wouldn't support you. They told me to do what I had to do. You want to see me, Miss Stanford? Actually, we both wanted to see you. Come in. Well, we know that you did. We saw the security footage. Why did you do it? Uh, I thought it would be funny. You thought nearly setting the school on fire would be funny? Do you know how many stink bombs I've set off in my life without them actually catching a fire? You're lucky Mr. Hawkins was close by, or who knows how bad this could have been. Look, look I, I'm sorry. You wanted to get caught, didn't you? Look, you had to know there were security cameras out there. 
Right, and you said yourself you're very familiar with the process. It was an accident, like I said. I don't think it was an accident. No, I think you knew exactly what you were doing. Look, Mr. Kelly, I have read your files and you're very bright. You're a handsome young man who has a little charming manner. But every time you've gotten yourself in trouble, your father's bailed you out, hasn't he? Listen. No. You listen. You ruined the opening of this school. You made the auditorium unusable. And you think you're just going to waltz out of here right now with a slap on the wrist, don't you? Just talk to my dad. I'm sure you and him can work something out for this that situation. That won't be necessary. He already knows about this because I just talked with your father. And he knows that you're no longer a student at Fremont. What? You heard me, young man. I am not going to let you skate by and go through your whole life thinking you can just get away with anything. You... I want you off these premises immediately. You can't do this. <laughs> I can. And I'm doing it. Miss Stanford. Yes, sir. Will you find Mr. Hawkins and escort Mr. Kelly to get his belongings at the dorm? It's done. I'm sorry it had to be done, but we didn't have a choice. And I hope it didn't put you in a bad spot with his father. Understandably, he was not happy, but we convinced him not to press the matter. Well, hopefully one day uh, he'll understand that he's not doing his son a favor throwing money at all these problems and trying to solve them like that. Maybe someday you'll even thank me. <laughs> oh, I doubt you'll be receiving Christmas cards from them anytime soon. <laughs> I guess not, I guess not. Thank you anyway for your help in this matter. Well, that's part of why you're there. To deal with problems. But, trust me, we always have ways of dealing with any problems that may arise at Friedmont.